Hey, what is up Solstice Army? This is Justin or Or Nothing here and today I'm bringing you a special kind of video about something that is very near and dear to my heart. So I don't know about you guys, but I am very into retro video games and one console in particular just kind of stands out above the rest for me and that is the Super Nintendo. So it's probably because I was growing up in the 90s, the early mid 90s and that was just the console of the time, but if you look back, the SNES actually had some of the premier platforming video games, uh, RPG video games, uh, it, there's just so much amazing content that was put out at this time on this system and uh, I happen to have one right here. So while it is incredibly cool, uh, it's not exactly portable. So let's say you, uh, you're being sent on a big uh, company trip and you have like a six hour plane flight, something, uh, something that just happened to me recently actually. And you know, you're right in the middle of your game of Chrono Trigger or Final Fantasy 3 and you're just like, oh, what am I gonna do? Uh -huh. Yeah. And uh, the answer is nothing. You're kind of screwed because, I mean, the system itself is like a small carry-on. So, out of luck, right? Right? Well, guys, a company called Hyperkin has decided to sort out this exact dilemma. And they did that by making something called, drumroll please, the Super Boy. Uh, yeah. So the Super Boy is in this box, and it is in fact a portable Super Nintendo. I know, it's... I didn't say it was like super practical, guys. Obviously we have freaking Final Fantasy VII in our pockets on our phones, and freaking Baldur's Gate 2, and I get it, you know, that I have to admit. This is for nostalgia, all right? So if you are like diehard and you want to play, you know, the actual cartridges themselves, uh, this is an, a really cool solution. So let's open it up and take a look, shall we? Talk about some of the features. Just uh, talk about the price point. So when you open up the box, you get this. Play like it's 1991, portable SNES video game system console. Very cool. So once again, guys, this is nostalgia. You know, it's it's quirky, it's gimmicky. It's it doesn't cost a fortune. So, <laughs> so so take it for what it is. So once you take the bag out, you get the console itself. So <laughs> first thing you're gonna notice, uh, portable is used sort of loosely here. So if you look, this thing is, I want to say maybe two and a half inches wide. I'm probably like five inches tall and probably I don't know nine ten inches across it's big it's 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 a very large portable console but you know a heck of a lot smaller than the actual SNES so here's an SNES here's the Superboy just for comparison's sake there you go um, all right so there it is and uh, let's talk about the ports what it does all that good stuff. So on the bottom, it has headphone out, uh, volume control, um, an LED. I'm um, probably to show when the battery is uh, dying. I'm gonna guess. Um, on the top, you have a DC in, five volt. Uh, uh, that's for charging it. You can also play it plugged in, so you don't have to worry about the battery dying. Um, it has an on-off switch to turn it on and off. <laughs> And then AV out. So the AV out is really neat, and let me explain why. It comes with the ability, an AV out cable, to plug it into your television. So with this cable, you plug that into here, and then I don't know if you guys saw the big giant ports down here, but you can actually take your SNES controller and plug it in like so, and essentially use this as your Super Nintendo, which is a really cool feature. But uh, for my money, I still prefer, you know, the big purple sliding buttons, but now we're just getting silly, right? So, uh, let's turn it on, shall we? 
Oh, one other thing I'd like to mention. This is backwards, or not backwards compatible, but it's also compatible with uh, Super Fam Famicom games. Uh, so Super Famicom is kind of the Japanese version of Super Nintendo, uh, and SNES will not play Super Famicom games, an American SNES, but uh, this thing will play both, which is really neat. So I don't know if you can tell by the way the pins are set up, but yeah, it can do both. So let's pick arguably my favorite video game of all time, Super Mario World. Let's throw it on in there and see what happens. I Look, I don't know if it works or not. I do it and then the game works, so just don't judge me. Here we go. Let's turn it up. So, two speakers here and here. It gets pretty damn loud. I don't know how well you guys can see that screen. <clears throat> Let's launch it up. Pretty cool. I do kind of wish <laughs> that the cartridge would be flush with the system so it doesn't have to get even larger when the cartridge is in the system itself, but you know, it just plays into that whole like bulky early 90s aesthetic, you know, and in the, the original SNES the cartridges stick out of the top too, so I guess I can, I can give it a pass, um, but yeah, let's, let's get in there. One thing I, right, here we go. So, I will get a better shot of this, you guys, so you can see it in action. It controls really, really good. feels very much like playing um, on an actual SNES controller. You know, in spite of it being so bulky, it's very comfortable. It does have little kind of places to put your hands on the back. All right. So, one thing that I will say uh, that I'm a little critical of the screen the colors look great at the right angle uh, but as soon as that you turn that the wrong angle I don't know how well you guys can see that just can't do this the screen just goes away so it, you have to hold it I would say you're holding it about 10 degrees back and it looks perfect um, you know this is pretty small in the grand scheme of things I mean it's still a portable Super Nintendo but um, kind of annoying you know, I wish the screen were a little bit more uh, consistent. But uh, once you get it at that right angle, colors look great. Games are imminently playable. Um, as for the battery, you're probably going to get maybe four to six hours out of this guy on a charge, which is fine. That's going to, you know, carry you through that flight. And uh, yeah, you should be good. And most planes and stuff have uh, charging ports near them anyway. So, uh, you yeah, know, let's just flip this off. <clears throat> Superboy. So, price point. This guy is going to set you back about 70 bucks on Amazon. Uh, I think it was around like 73, 74 with tax and shipping and all that. So, $74 uh, for like $14 more than a brand new video game and you have this essentially functional Super Nintendo console and portable SNES. So you could literally be playing this on your TV and then, you know, you got a road trip or something, you pick it up, throw it into its little carry bag, bring it with you, and keep gaming on the go. So, pretty cool. I, I'm very happy with it. I'm gonna give it a solid, like, 4.3 out of 5. And the reason I took away that 0. .7 is because, two reasons. Number one, the screen, it's, it's, the screen is good. I do wish that it was a little more consistent when you're going, when you turn it at different angles, I mean, Whatever. And and number two, uh, the plastic it's made out of can feel a tiny bit flimsy at times. Um, but the thing is, like, I'm sure the two things I just listed are part of the reason why the price can kind of get pushed down that low. I've seen other portable SNES type consoles going for over a hundred dollars. So for seventy four bucks, pretty great. Uh, on Amazon, I did see some reviews of people saying that there's. They got theirs and it didn't work, or after a couple weeks it stopped working. Um, I have experienced no such issue. I will let you guys know if I do. I will say, having uh, talked a little bit about the cheap materials, if this thing were chucked into a suitcase and got knocked around a lot, I wouldn't be surprised if it uh, experienced some damage. It is not built uh, like a tank. This thing is definitely susceptible to damage. It's not... Uh, 
it doesn't feel like a $200 product because it's not, but um, but it's extremely cool. It's uh, it's gimmicky, it's nostalgic, it's big and bulky. It feels, it looks like something that walked out of 1991. Um, and yeah, I think it's super cool. So I just wanted to share it. One thing I did want to ask you guys is if you wanted to see more uh, retro co uh, gaming content, more stuff about SNES. I love the SNES. I would love to talk more about it. I have a whole collection of SNES games. So let me know in the comments below. You know. <sighs> guys, for real though, thank you so much for swinging by. Thank you for supporting our channel. It means the world to my brothers and I. Uh, please, please, please like this video. It means the world to us. It helps us a lot. Subscribe to this channel if you want more content like this. And uh, I will catch you on the flip side. Until next time. See you later, boys. Bye-bye.